Welcome Virgos, I'm back again with another video for you guys. On your way in guys, go ahead and click that like button. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, alright? So this are, these are general reads for the month of June. General, so some may apply, some may not, okay? Um, and if this message does resonate with you, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, so let's see what's coming towards my Virgos for the month of June. June, June, June. What message do you have for Virgos? What message do you have for my Virgos? Give me an overall message, please. All right, so we got the Five of Pentacles, okay? We got the Five of Pentacles. Some of you may be feeling like you want to give up on a situation. Some of you may feel like you're fighting demons. Some of you guys may feel like you are actually fighting a devil. Fighting a devil. Okay? There could be a Capricorn involved. Okay? But I'm getting that there is a sense of lack possibly or feeling rejected or left out in the cold in the situation okay give me let's see you could be looking at your finances for some of you this could be a financial situation um financial strain you're trying to get your money together let's see okay eight of cups so some of you may um may feel as if you don't have the courage to walk out of a bad situation, to leave out of a bad situation. And I feel like that's what it is. Okay, give me another message for Virgos, please. We got the King of Pentacles. You guys, it's energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For a lot of you, this is about your finances, okay? Your financial situation. I feel like you don't want to ask for something, okay? You're done asking. <laughs> You're done asking for a handout. You're done asking for help. But, you know, I feel like you, you had to walk away from a situation or you're thinking about walking away from a situation. Six of Wands, something was unsuccessful. You feel like you tried something and it possibly failed. We got the Eight of Pentacles and the chariot reverse you tried something and it did not progress it didn't get anywhere okay it didn't get you the results that you were looking for what's past energy what's past energy okay i got the two of pentacles and the empress um there could have been two people involved you could have been juggling two people you could have been going back and forth between two people a lot of you may have been trying to like keep your options open okay and you might have been juggling between two people. For some of you, um, this could be like a, a mother or a, a female feminine energy. But I feel like you've been juggling between two people. Let me see future energy. Give me future energy. And um, we got the two of wands in the reverse. So this is not being prepared for what's to come, the future. We got, you know, disappointments, being disappointed that there's a, been an ending. But I also see that there's a ending and a new beginning here with the full card. And we got the hermit card. Okay, so eventually you shake back, okay? For some of you, you may be um, getting ready to go on a trip, long distance or short distance. You could be getting ready to go on a trip. Possibly you work long distance for work, okay? So you, you possibly, you know, if, if some of you are struggling with trying to find a job, I feel like a job opportunity is getting ready to come into play. Or there could be issues in regards to like, you know, traveling, something in that nature. Um, 
We'll go back to that to get more details. Yeah. I feel like you want a new start. Like, you want a fresh start. You want to start fresh. Okay, yeah, because you're trying to balance out your resources, balance out your options. Okay, so your intuition could be telling you to wait. You're waiting. To, you're waiting on something. We got the chariot card. Okay, you're waiting for something before you. You're waiting for something before you make your next move. Is what I'm getting here as well. Others view you. We got the King of Swords in the reverse. Okay, you could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. But they're pissed. Somebody is pissed. And someone here is, uh, doesn't know, <laughs> doesn't know uh, how to approach you. Someone here doesn't know how to approach you, but they're mad as hell. Could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Okay, so... In your hopes and fears, we got the Six of Cups, okay? Six of Cups, you could be um, thinking over the past. You could be thinking about your children. Okay, but we got you here waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, I got you waiting until you get to someone's house. I got the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so something about waiting to, to get something or someone to give you something or you getting something from someone, okay? And it does provide you with stability, okay? Why is the, six, why is the Five of Pentacles here? I feel like you're trying to get out of a bad situation. Okay, the High Priestess. Your intuition is telling you to leave somewhere. Change. But you changed your mind. Uh-huh. You changed your mind. But your intuition is telling you to leave. Why is the eight cups here? Yeah. Three of swords. Yeah, and you're sad that you have to have to leave, walk out on a situation. I have to pick the ones reverse. I feel like you're trying to manifest. You're trying to make your own way with the magician and the six of pentacles. Um, you could be trying to um, manifest something here. But something just, it did not go right. It, it was a failed, something failed, okay? And I feel like with the Page of Swords here, you got a lot of people that has their eyes on you, that's watching you. You're trying to balance out your resources. We got the Justice card here. You could be dealing with the court system. You could also be dealing with a Libra, okay? But something here about the truth not being... Something about someone not telling the truth, okay? And it could be a cancer. We got the chariot card here. But this is just saying, like, something isn't progressing, okay? Something just isn't progressing, okay? And you're trying, and it's, it's, it's like you're trying to, but something just isn't working. Why is the magician here? I got Aquarius's energy here. Someone could um, could have thought that they were pregnant here. I got the Empress and the Star card, but possibly they weren't with the Death card. Okay, or there could have possibly been like an abortion or something to that nature, like something happened. But I feel like someone thought that they were pregnant, or someone is pregnant. Okay, you could have found out that you were pregnant. 
I got the star and the empress card, two of pentacles. And I got, see, this is like you being real cautious, okay? Being real cautious. And I feel like some of you might have took a pregnancy test and the results were negative, okay? We got the three of pentacles. All right. So you're thinking about investing. You're thinking about working towards a goal. Some of you are thinking about um, going to work. Okay. But maybe feeling like something isn't enough. So you want to walk out on a situation because you just don't feel like it's getting anywhere. You don't feel like it's bringing you any type of success. Okay, for some of you, it has something to do with a vehicle, a car, with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot in reverse, okay? There could be uh, car issues, okay? Especially with the Chariot being in reverse. This, this combination has came out like three times here in this reading. Okay, yeah, see? Yeah. Most definitely like a trip or traveling back and forth somewhere. And Queen of Cups comes out, came out frequently as well, too. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the Two of Wands here? The Devil in reverse. <clears throat> Something about not being ready to, not being prepared, okay? Not ready to let go of something. What's the Devil reverse here? The Devil reverse is releasing, okay? Yeah, someone's not ready to go or leave something. Somebody's happy where they're at. Okay. I'm getting like somebody's not ready to leave. Somebody's not ready to go. I'm getting that there's sexual energy here. King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Definitely sex, sexual energy. Okay. Oh, I got the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. I'm getting, don't want, not wanting to ask an authority figure for nothing. Don't want to ask nine of cups reverse, page of cups reverse, the emperor. Okay. The emperor is an older person. Okay. So maybe you don't want to ask this. Some of you may have a sugar, some of you may be sugar babies and you don't want to have to ask this older person for money here. You don't want to have to ask them for help or money. For some of you, this could be a father figure, not wanting to ask them for help. But I'm feeling more so of a sugar daddy, sugar mama role here. Okay, so some of you guys got sugar mamas and sugar daddies, and y'all are some sugar babies. I'm definitely getting that. <clears throat> All right, so the full card here. Yeah. You you <laughs> you may be feeling like you're being watched, and you are. You are being watched. Not to take a or this could be watching uh, four cups. Somebody, this could also be not having someone to watch your children while you go to work. I'm definitely getting that this is about a car or a trip, okay? Because I got these, these three cards definitely symbolizes a trip or going out of town or a car. Okay. I feel, I'm feeling like you're being a little disappointed because you don't have somebody, you don't have the support that you need or something like that. Um, <clears throat> definitely seeing that. Why is the Six of Cups here? Okay. You want to go back, you want to go back home. Maybe you're out somewhere. You're not. You're, I feel like you want to leave somewhere. 
you don't want to be somewhere anymore. You don't like it there. You're not happy there. Because I'm sensing that you want to go back home to... You want to go back to where things are stable, okay? With the Four of Wands. You want to go back to somewhere where it's nice and comfortable and cozy. You don't feel comfortable maybe someone is a liar or a thief maybe there's a thief in the home <clears throat> or someone who lies all the time um and you're you don't feel comfortable why is the three of wands here Ooh. all right three of wands three of wands three of wands I feel like you're feeling regretful about um, a situation. Or you're waiting for somebody to feel bad and help you out with the Nine of Pentacles here. <clears throat> yeah. You're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting for somebody to feel bad. Yeah. This is this older person. Okay. This someone's older than you. Okay. Could be an Aries because the emperor energy is here. Could be someone that's older than you. Could be a father figure. Could be an uncle, a, a older brother. But I feel like you're waiting for someone to say something. Um, and, you know, they give you any sense of they feel bad for you. That's what I got here. Virgos, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Y'all let me know what's going on. All right, so um, let's see what the angels have to say. I got no. I also have wait. And I also have not the right time. And we got romance at the bottom of the deck, okay? So romance could be on your mind, but something here is saying no, wait, it's not the right time. I'm getting a year from now, a year from now. So let's grab a few clarifiers. Why is no here for Virgo? Two of Pentacles wanted to jump out. Yeah. Something's not successful here. Something is not going to get you the results that you're looking for. Something about being scared to drive somewhere. What is this? Um, I'm getting a Leo. Could be a Leo. Leo's energy. But it's like afraid to go somewhere. Scared to do something wild. What is this? Why is the six of wands in the reverse here? Yeah, queen of wands. <clears throat> Same energy keeps coming out. Something about this is saying no. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or you could be trying to take on this energy of the Queen of Wands. We know the Queen of Wands is very wild and free-spirited. And she, her energy is very much so different from an Earth sign energy. Okay? I feel like maybe you don't want to do something new. Okay? Maybe this is involving new friends, a new circle. If you are getting ready to like 
thinking about jumping into like a circle of friends and their energy does not match yours, then don't do it. Okay. I get some of you guys are like, I'm tired of not having what I want. Okay. So I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go move like this. But Spirit is saying no. That's the thing I want to. I feel like you know that you don't don't need to do this. King of Swords keeps popping out. Okay, so this could be like a, a air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something that you don't like. Something you're not interested in this person. You don't like really like this person like that. Moon, yeah. You don't really like this person like that. When you start thinking about it, you don't even really like this person like that. Something about a car or something about being stuck in the car or being feeling like you're stuck and you can't move. And I feel like you're pissed about something. Okay, why is the weight card here? Yeah, we got the hangman, which is the waiting card, okay? Somebody's trying to hook, somebody's trying to hook you. Somebody's trying to hook you. Um, like, reel you in with money. It's like, because I'm getting, don't want your money. Don't want to be, um, don't want to be attached to you like that. I feel like you, I feel like you're keeping, um, you're trying to keep it like harder than fun, but someone's trying to hook you. Somebody's trying to reel you in with money. Somebody possibly knows that you need help in a situ in a situation and they're trying to, um, use that to play on you, to prey on you. Don't wait to the last minute is what I'm getting here. And this devil keeps wanting to jump out. Good, most of you dealing with the cap the Capricorn. Don't wait until the last minute is what I'm getting here. Don't wait to the last minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stop going back and forth with this person. If there's something that you need to handle, you need may need to move around them. Okay. I got you moving around them. You're thinking about moving around them, okay? And, and and I see that five of wands and the six of swords. So you're thinking about moving around them because you're getting tired of waiting, okay? And you know, you know, you possibly already have been waiting. You don't need to wait any longer. You don't need to wait on this person any longer, okay? So not the right time. Yeah. You're going to be cutting communication off of someone. Ten of Swords and the, the Page of Pentacles. You're going to be cutting communication off, not wanting to talk to this person. You're done with this person. Something was temporary here, very temporary, okay? And somebody could have been giving you a ride back and forth. You could be, yeah, I'm getting like that. <laughs> here we go again, okay? Seven of Cups Seven and the Knight of Wands. Definitely play playful energy somebody that's you know this could have been like a, a little fun thing but somebody here has been riding back and forth okay i'm getting a lot of riding back and forth somebody's scared to ask somebody something somebody's scared to ask somebody something that they ride with or who they're with all the time somebody's afraid to ask for something for some type of assistance or help why is the place of thing? star card could be an Aquarius could be an Aquarius and keeping your distance you're gonna cut off communication with this person and you're gonna keep your distance 
Because they're going to they gonna keep trying to come back. Yep. They're going to keep trying to come back for sex. For sex. Mm hmm. Look, yeah. They're going to keep trying to come back around for sex. I feel like you're cutting this person off. All right, guys. If this message resonated with you guys, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what's going on with you guys. If you want to book your very own personal reading, um, contact information is in the drop box below. And I will chat with you guys later.